All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shad by Hashem, Rakak with us. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders, great millstone. Much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity, and salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect, believing on the word, saying Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shad. Coming at you another lesson, Lord willing, is edifying. And things are truly getting bad out here, man. You know, scriptures talk about those perilous times. Second Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1. No, excuse me, this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. All right, going to this word perilous <coughs> real quick. Because those are the times that we're in. Perilous times, man. Food is getting higher and higher. You know? People are not uh, having a way out of this situation. And these things are going to intensify. So that word perilous, Scrooge G5467, it says, hard to do, to take, to approach. Yeah. That's the times we're in, man. These times are hard to take. So much so, people are losing it over little things, man. Right? It says, hard to bear, troublesome, dangerous. Right? These are some dangerous fucking times, man. All hell is set to break loose, and it's a build-up, man. It's that fuse being lit, you know? And now it's going to come into its perfection. So much so that you got these people losing it, man. You know, again, this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Yeah, men and women, right? Covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Without natural affection, yeah, you're going to see that in these couple articles in a video I have. Without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despises of those that are good. And you ultimately despise the words of your high by Shara Shah, man. You know, let's play this first video. <clears throat> Y'all gotta stop trying to be thugs. At 6.30 a.m., a car crashes into a house. The people come out and find the driver dead and the other passenger outside the car. He asks for a phone to call for the guy's family and they go inside to grab a phone, they come out, he's gone. These two knuckleheads decided to steal a fucking car the night before, find some dude at a bus stop, shoot at him, miss him. They circle the block, come back to shoot him again and the 14-year-old passenger smokes the 18-year-old fucking driver. The witness reported that uh, he was waiting for a bus when the vehicle drove by and shot multiple gunshots at him. He ran away. The vehicle circled around, came back, and apparently when uh, they were trying to shoot him a second time, the passenger shot the driver. The passenger reportedly ran off after the shooting and detectives are still looking for him. See? Those are the times we in, man. It says again, 2 Timothy 3 and 3, without natural affection, man. You see that? So you had these two teenagers, 18-year-old and a 14-year-old, and I believe it says it was in a stolen vehicle. And what they did was try to shoot at a man at a bus stop, man. Missed him. Circled a block, basically. Came back and tried to shoot him. And the 14-year-old and the ended up shooting the driver in the head and putting his ass to death, man. Yeah, these perilous times. That's the times that we're in, you know? And I have a couple articles. <clears throat> I want to feature. Okay. First one. Of course, we know about this last week. 
migrant suspect and murder of UGA nursing student cross border in Texas was arrested and released in New York City. See that? Yeah, those spirits are created for vengeance, man. All right? That's why we know we're in these perilous times. And our Lord say that, um, what is that? The love of many shall wax cold. Right? It says the illegal immigrant who is accused of killing University of Georgia nursing student Lincoln Riley entered the U.S. in September with his wife and five-year-old son. They were bused to New York City after entering the country illegally. He was arrested on child endangerment charges, released, and the record was sealed. What the fuck? You see? And this thing is going to become a, a, a natural uh, a natural occurrence, man. It's going to become a more and more frequent. All right? Why? Because the days are evil, man. Matter of fact. <clears throat> Real quick. Let's go to Ephesians. Chapter 5. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly. Yeah. Being observant, watching your surroundings, looking around you. All right. Not having your fucking phone down in your, in your, or uh, not having your head down in your phone. Right. It says, not as fools, but as wise. Why is the scriptures telling us to do that? It says, redeeming the time. Because the days are evil. Yeah, we in some evil times. That word evil is a compound word. Ill meaning bad, eve meaning time. So we in some bad times, man. And they're going to intensify. This is only be what the scriptures say. These are the beginning of sorrows. Right? Let's go back to the article. Okay? S murder suspect. In UGA nursing student, excuse me, murder suspect, <clears throat> immigrant suspect in murder of UGA nursing student cross border in Texas was arrested and released in New York City. All right. This one right here. Ohio mother leaves 16 month year old daughter to starve to death for 10 days. While soaking up the sun on Puerto Rico beach. See this shit, man? The love of many waxing cold. You know? The days are evil. It says, an Ohio mom posted a grinning photo of herself <laughs> on, on a sunny beach at the same time that her little daughter was laying dying in her filthy playpen back home. See this shit? Mm. Kristen can the the De, De Rio, thirty two pleaded guilty to aggravated murder Thursday for abandoning her sixteen month old daughter Jalen when she jetted off on a ten day vacation to Puerto Rico in June. You see that shit. Yeah, you see what's going on, man. Okay, <clears throat> perilous times. And the elder brother sent this through today. <laughs> it says New NYC bodega worker <clears throat> fatally shot in head over refusal to give away black and mild cigarette cigar. See that shit? I read into this story. The dude asked him to buy a fucking black and mild cigar. And he refused. Or they got into a verbal altercation. And the guy came back with a pistol. Right? And they went to struggling over the pistol. Went down to the ground. And dude ended up getting shot in the fucking head. But it all stemmed to him saying no to buying this guy a fucking black man. You see? Shit, shit's getting bad, man. Shit is bad out here, man. 
That's why the Lord said, remember not thy creator in the days of thy youth, matter of fact. But see, we in those times where you need to remember your creator. All right? How about shall shall? Get right with your power before, it, before all hell break loose. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. <clears throat> remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw not, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, and those days are fastly approaching. They're, they're, they're right there at the door, man. Okay? The Lord said he created these spirits for vengeance. Oh, guess what? The deaf angels. The deaf angels have been set loose. What is that? Ezekiel? Let's get that. Yeah. That's why we read, you know. See then that she walked circumspectly. Not as fools. Ezekiel chapter 9, starting at verse 4. It says, And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and Jerusalem is the people before us a place, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And you, we're witnessing that. All right, starting with our head, apostles and elders of Great Millstone, men fervently crying out against this place for all the abomination that be done in the midst of man. All right? Like Lot, after seeing and hearing, he was vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. It says, And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the midst of the city, and smite, let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young. Yeah, that 18 month year old. Right? That uh that 18 year old, right? That uh that woman, slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. See? The Lord is not a respect of persons, man. And all these again are signs of the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shah. It says, but come not any man, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark. Yeah, that mark is that Towa, all right, which means uh, exemption from judgment, man. All right, that's what we're hoping in, to have that Towa, to be covered by the blood of your house. It says, and began at my sanctuary. Then they began at the ancient man that were before the house. Yeah, the ones that know you Israel, man. And you teaching these false doctrines, these wayward doctrines, and the Lord's going to begin at you, man. You see? What you're seeing, these devil angels are out, man. So much so, he had three stories, you know, and, and one video that speaks beautifully to that point. That's why we need to pray to be hedged and protected in these times, man. This is Ecclesiastes. Excuse me, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 39, <clears throat> and verse 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Yeah, who made the spirits? The Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Right? It reads, fire and hell, famine and death. Yeah, those people were put to death, man. That was done by a spirit created for vengeance. All these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts. Yeah, when you see all these pit bull attacks or shark attacks, you know, those are spirits that are created for vengeance. It says, and scorpions, serpents, and the sword punishing the wicked to destruction. Yeah. That's what it was aimed at, man. Right? It says, they shall rejoice in his commandment. Who's going to rejoice? Those spirits created for vengeance. And they shall be ready upon earth when need is. 
And when their time is come, yeah, when the Lord sent out the order, they shall not transgress his word, see? They're going to do exactly what Yahweh Bashar said to do, man. And that's what you're witnessing. And again, these things are only going to intensify. They're only going to come in this perfection, man. Again, you had the, the, uh, the 18-year-old <laughs> put the 14-year-old to death trying to kill a, uh, a man who was just at, sitting at the fucking gas. I mean, sitting at the, um, at the bus stop, man. You see? Then you also had the mother leave her daughter, right, for 10 days to go to fucking Puerto Rico. That's the last vacation that bitch going to take, right? You got the immigrant <laughs> killing a goddamn uh, nursing student. And those things are going to intensify. And finally, you got the NYC bodega worker fatally shot in the head, man, by fucking customers who we refuse to to buy a fucking black for, man. You see? So we are, are definitely in those dangerous times. So I pray this has been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Lord willing, come next you when I listen. Till the next time I say, Shalom.